In Northern Edge 23 Tech 1 in Alaska, we connected over line of sight data links to coalition players as well as uh, the U.S. joint community. Airplanes in the air from multiple countries and from the Air Force, Army, Navy, and Marines flying over the Alaska ranges as well as over the Gulf of Alaska. And so we were connecting to airplanes, ships, vehicles, and operators on the ground. Across the RTX companies, we had two tightly coupled experiments. One was on the KC-135, the Intelligent Gateway, operated by the 151st Air Refueling Wing out of the Utah Air National Guard. Collins partnered with the Utah Air National Guard and the Air National Guard and Air Reserve Test Center, or AATC, via a cooperative research and development agreement. We had the opportunity to work with the Raytheon multi-mission test bed, the RMT. The RMT and the KC-135 are two systems that can work on their own, but together we are able to bring all of the sensing from the RMT and put it together with the KC-135 and just provide a larger operational picture to command and control centers. Uh, that allows us to work and share technologies with the KC-135 test community. The Intelligent Gateway is built on an open system architecture concept. We're providing the connectivity and we'll have onboard compute power that will allow other uh, industry partners or the Air Force to bring their own waveforms, their own software, and their own hardware in some cases to plug into that data architecture that allows them to really take advantage of the data connectivity that we live with every day in the United States, but really has not been part of the concept of how we fight as a military. We are bridging multiple data links at multiple security levels. We have track information, whether it's land track and air track, um, a surface track, and we are getting that important tactical information to our air battle managers so they're able to see the entire operational picture of the fight and make the important decisions that they need to. The air battle managers are able to assess mission situations based on a combined situational awareness picture driven by both local theater operations and strategic operations centers throughout the rest of the United States. The Slipsa software BC3 fused that common operation picture to enable the battle managers to make the best decisions based on all available information. By using Solipsis BC3 software and interfacing it with the Intelligent Gateway, we created an Airborne Tactical Operations Center. This technology really could go on any platform. The KC-135 and other refueling platforms will always be participating in the forward edge of the fight when the receivers come to the KC-135, KC-46, whichever refueling asset is out there. And in addition to get, getting a fuel dump airborne, they can get a data dump airborne as well. We were able to um, bring the internet to the KC-135 through new satellite technology. We have very powerful processing and networking computing power, and so this leads into the open architecture where we have that extra bandwidth to bring in additional external capabilities, software application to run on the gateway. I was in the Air Force for 27 years, serving as an intelligence officer, a fighter pilot, and then a command and control leader. So this allows me the opportunity to continue to serve out of uniform and provide our warfighters with uh, some of the best technology that industry has to offer 